Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're diving into the latest release from Canonical, Ubuntu 25.04 also known by its playful codename Plucky Puffin. This release brings a wave of new features under the hood improvements and some exciting updates for both desktop users and developers. Whether you're a Linux beginner or a seasoned user, there is a lot to explore, so let's break it down. One of the standout highlights in Ubuntu 25.04 is the upgrade to GNOME 48, which powers the default Ubuntu desktop environment, and this version brings some genuinely meaningful improvements. First up, triple buffering. This new rendering technique significantly improves the smoothness of your desktop experience. Whether you're opening apps, switching windows, or using animations, everything just feels more fluid and polished. Another major feature is HDR setting support. If you have a display capable of high dynamic range, Ubuntu 25.04 now lets you take advantage of that richer color and contrast right from your desktop settings. This makes watching HDR content or editing photos and videos a much more enjoyable experience. GNOME 48 also introduces a brand new feature called the Wellbeing Panel. It's designed to help users manage their screen time more mindfully. You can set breaks, get gentle reminders to take times away from the screen, and track how long you've been using your computer. This is a welcome feature in today's screen-heavy world. And for laptop users, there is a new Preserve Battery Health Mode. As the name suggests, this feature helps extend the lifespan of your battery by avoiding unnecessary full charges. If you're someone who leaves your laptop plugged in often, this can go a long way in keeping your battery health over time. Let's talk about apps, and more specifically, Ubuntu's new default PDF reader. Say hello to Papers. Papers replaces the older Evans app, and it brings a more modern and user-friendly interface to reading PDF documents. It's built with performance and usability in mind, offering better navigation, faster rendering, and a cleaner layout overall. Whether you're reading ebooks, filling out forms, or reviewing documents, Papers makes the experience smoother and easier. Installing Ubuntu alongside other operating systems has always been possible, but it hasn't always been perfect. In Ubuntu 25.04, the installation process has been improved significantly, especially for dual booting scenarios. There is now better BitLocker support, which means fewer issues when installing Ubuntu next to a Windows installation that uses disk encryption. That's a big deal for users switching from Windows or experimenting with Linux. Additionally, the advanced partitioning tools have been enhanced. This gives power users more control over how they structure their drivers during installation, but without overwhelming beginners who want a simple setup. Now, let's look under the hood. Ubuntu 25.04 ships with the Linux 6.14 kernel and it brings a bunch of improvements to performance gaming and hardware support. One of the standout features is the inclusion of skid-ext, a new experimental scheduler. This offers more flexibility in how the Linux kernel handles CPU tasks and can lead to performance gains in specific workloads, especially useful for developers and researchers who want to fine-tune system performance. Gamers have something to be excited about too. There is enhanced support for Wine and Proton thanks to the new NT-Sync driver. This helps improve compatibility and performance for running Windows games and applications on Linux. If you're using Steamplay or Lutrix to game on Linux, this is great news. Container users and devs working with modern workloads will appreciate the decoupled BPF tools and Linux Perf tools. This change makes these utilities easier to manage and upgrade independently of the main kernel. Ubuntu 25.04 really shines when it comes to developers' experience thanks to a new concept called Dev Packs. So, what are Dev Packs? They're essentially curated snap bundles that package entire developer ecosystems. This makes it incredibly easy to get started with popular stacks like Go, Spring, Python, Rust, Net, LLVM and OpenGDK, all with the latest versions and ready to go. Instead of piecing together your environment manually, DevPack gives you a plug and play experience. It's fast, consistent and simplifies the onboarding process for new projects. Whether you're building web apps, services or working in data science, this is a big productivity boost. Security and privacy are front and center in Ubuntu 2504. 
One of the key new features is expanded support for confidential computing, especially AMD sieve snp Previously more common in cloud deployments, confidential computing is now making its way to on-premise environments. If you're running your own server or hosting sensitive data, this provides hardware level isolation to keep your workload secure, even from the host operating system. Also, worth noting, Ubuntu 2504 introduces a brand new ARM64 desktop ISO. This is a big step for those using next generation ARM power desktops, laptops and development boards. It shows canonical commitment to supporting a broader range of hardware in the future. Connectivity and identity management also got smarter in this release. Ubuntu 2504 now supports secure time synchronization using NTS or Network Time Security. This helps ensure that your system clock is always accurate and tempered proof. It may sound minor, but time sync is crucial for security protocols, logs and network operations. There's also better Active Directory integration, which is especially useful in enterprise and educational environments. Managing Linux system in a Windows-based network just became a whole lot easier. Authentication options have been expanded to with support for cloud identity providers like Microsoft Entra ID and Google Identity. This makes logging into Ubuntu systems and hybrid cloud environments much smoother and more secure. And finally, NetPlan. Ubuntu's network configuration system now includes DNS-aware wait online logic. This helps the system delay certain boot time processes until network resources are actually available, improving boot reliability on systems that depend on internet connectivity. As always, it's not just Ubuntu desktop getting the love. A whole family of official flavors have also been released alongside 2504, including Kubuntu, Subuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Baji, Ubuntu Unity, Ubuntu Cinnamon, Ubuntu Kaling, and Edubuntu for education-focused environments. Each of these flavors comes with its own unique desktop environment and default apps, tailored for different users' needs. Whether you prefer KDE Plasma, XFCE, LXQT or something minimal, there is an Ubuntu flavor for you. Ubuntu 2504 Plucky Puffin is a powerful and polished release that keeps Ubuntu at the forefront of desktop Linux. With GNOME 48 improvements, better hardware and gaming support, a smoother installer and exciting features for developers and enterprise users alike, this version continues Ubuntu's mission to make open source computing accessible to everyone. So, are you planning to upgrade or try it out? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future Linux content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.